Can you set the scene for us of like what your first interaction with Don? <laughs> Are we gonna go all of that far back? <laughs> I don't know how far we want to go. I mean, the story used to be when I was in college that I did kind of stalk her. She was my favorite player growing up. Like literally, I'm like in fifth grade. She played for the Steam. So I had professional basketball early, like presented to me early as a kid. I'm standing in line, kind of get my jersey signed by her. Um, I still have the picture. I still have the jersey. <laughs> so it's just like a full circle moment, honestly, for me. Once she started recruiting me, um, I was in disbelief. Honestly, Dawn wants me to come play for her. Like I really thought it was a joke. It was just a full circle moment knowing that I was able to, to play for my favorite player. You didn't tell him about the um, the school project? <laughs> oh my God. No, right. We already, we went there already. We touched on that. Look, she was my favorite player. So I did my research and everything. I, I knew her life front and back. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but you know, I'll take it. This is my first time honestly coming back to the statue too. So this is pretty cool. Look at her. Look at Miss Girl. Hi, Asia. Ah, this is so cool. I gotta take a selfie with her. I, I called Tiff my firstborn because it wasn't a, a popular choice to come to South Carolina. And Tiffany and her mom just saw something different. For us, what we saw was just a person who is extremely loyal, a person that was driven, um, a person that was highly motivated, like Tiff straight up said, I'm making the decision to play basketball. I mean, it's a luxury because she's smart. Like she, I mean, it's, it was easy for her to carry a, a, a 3.9 or a 4.0. It was very easy. So for us, we were cut from the same cloth. And for her to commit to us, um, we wanted to make sure we just pour all into her. And she poured into us. And in return, she got a Hall of Fame career. In return, She's, a, she's my first All-American here at South Carolina. In return, she was our first two-time SEC Player of the Year. It was perfect timing on, on both of our parts, but I think she legitimized us because of her decision to come here. I mean, I think she just teaches us lessons way bigger than basketball, um, which I had to learn, like there is more to life than basketball. Um, because like I said, when I got here, I was super laser focused on just one to be the best basketball player that I could be like ever, every time I step on the court. Um, and realizing, you know, you can't do it alone either. You have to bring people along with you. And I had to, I had to learn that um, through her. She taught me, you know, the hard way. There was good days, there was bad days. Um, but that's what I loved about it because, you know, she, she cared about me much more as a person than a basketball player. If I never played basketball again, once I left here, um, I think she wanted to make sure she instilled at least those type of morals into the people that she's around. She made me feel like I was like that girl. It's easier to play that way. Like she make you, let you make mistakes and learn from them instead of just like, you know, tearing you down when you're that young, when you're trying to figure it out. If I could come back as a player, I would probably come back as Tiff because it was really more like me. Like she was a killer. Like she didn't care. Big shot maker. She shouldered. She shouldered our team. Just as a, you know, she ain't a big guard. She a little thing, right? She ain't big, but she played bigger. She welcomed the challenge of what whatever. Tiff broke down all of those doors by her play. Like. And, and being here at South Carolina, you, you have to make it very clear. Clear, like there's no question. So I, I, I hold, you know, those great memories with me. And it's not just one, it's, it's, a, it's, a, you know, it's a lifetime of great memories that she brought that some of them have basketball, you know, in them and some of them don't, a lot of them don't. It's much more and deeper than basketball. Like we are, we are family. We gonna look out for each other. It's like we're gonna do whatever we need to do to make sure they, their lives are successful. I mean, and this one holds a, a really special place, it like really holds a special place in my heart. Loyalty is, is huge with me. And I think that's even one of the reasons why I even committed to South Carolina because uh, when I did get hurt in high school, like 
of course people you know kind of pull away because they like you don't know how you're going to return you don't know what you're going to look like and she stayed there like she was there through literally through everything you know it meant a lot to me and again it was before south Carolina was even what they are now so i was just like you know it'll be stupid to me not to you know act on this and not you know go play for someone who literally life i you know want to have <laughs> like and want to be like when she got sick this year you know, I, I didn't know. I, I, I was just checking in on her and I really didn't know the depth of, of where she was in her life and her sickness. And, but I could, I could hear, I could hear it in her voice. She actually said, pray for me. And Tiff is a tough, Tiff is probably the toughest player that I've coached, like tough. Nothing really bothers her, nothing phases her. You know, she can work her th way through anything. But when your body's in a position of what she was going through, that's the very things that she usually count on. And I know when, when your body, you know, when your body isn't functioning like, like you need it to, it starts messing with your head and it starts messing with your heart. So what has it meant to you to have this type of mentorship and especially in that time of need, have somebody like Don looking out for you and caring for you, even from afar? She knows. I mean, she she knows. Like she knows. She felt it. You know. And I'm I'm speaking for her because I know it's hard for her. I know it's a it's a it's a it was a dark place for her. I got on my knees and I prayed for Tiff when she said, "Pray for me," because um, it sounded like she needed it. And and I mean. That's what we're that's what we're here for. That's exactly what we're here for is to be there in their worst moments because you you know she created great moments here at South Carolina for for me, for us, for our school, for our university. That's just a small part of it. We're here for the rest of her life and everything that comes with that. You know, Tiff was able to balance that thing out and she was able to balance out because mother was there, she was, somebody was always there. I was always texting or calling. Don't go to that place. They, it's not your time. Yeah. It's not your time. <laughs> Y'all hear it, like that's exactly what it's meant to me and like how I was able to kind of just push through. Um, me taking so much care of my body um, and just kind of seeing it fail uh, right in front of me. It's hard because um, I always leaned on that and that was something that I knew was always going to, you know, stand strong and stand tall and being in those moments and realizing like I'm, I can't, like literally there was nothing in me to, to, to kind of withstand everything physically. Um, I had to dive into my mental more. I had to literally force myself through it as much as I want to get to those places. People like Don, my mom, just people around me that kept telling me like don't go there, like there's so much more for you, like God is not about to leave you here even more so like I never wanted to let her down when I played for her when I'm in the hospital just you know I don't want to let these people down that have done so much for me in my life and put me in positions to be successful I'm like if anything I want to do it for them it just meant a lot to, to hear her voice even though I probably couldn't say a lot at that time because <laughs> it was very hard to even talk um, honestly when I was in the hospital so just to hear her voice though um, just gave me more hope to kind of just keep pushing through each day there were times in the hospital that this moment uh, felt so out of reach for me. So I say that just to say I'm just incredibly thankful to be up here to actually receive this. I'm counting my blessings every single day because we all know we're on borrow time. Um, so I will be sure to make the, the best out of every day from here on out. And I'll forever be a game cop.